Well, good afternoon everybody, how you all doing? Hope you're doing well. Well, welcome back to the channel. Uh, much appreciated for you joining me today. Yeah, just nipping out for some shopping. Nipping out for some shopping. Um, yeah, just to the uh, Tesco's. Other, other stores are available. <laughs> so yeah, let's jump on and uh, get this baby fired up. Not been out on this one for a while, so I'm going to go a little bit easy. Be a good little opportunity today also to give you a you know a little um, demonstration of the quick shifter. Bloody speed bumps. End up cracking the fur in the belly pan, that wouldn't be good would it? So yeah, I'm gonna go a little bit easy today because uh, like I say I haven't, haven't been out on this for a while so No, literally as soon as you get on this thing you can notice the difference in performance compared to the, the Triumph. Absolute animal this thing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, anyway, if you're um, new to the channel, you're just passing through, consider hitting that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, be much appreciated. Plenty more content to, uh, to the channel coming, plenty more coming, some more test rides, and uh, I'll say summer's coming as well, so that'd be good. Yeah, you got watch the old mud on the roads today. It's not, it's not that warm today. Saying nine degrees on the display there. It was a random dog there. What's he doing? Totally don't want out in the road. Oh no, this is owner there. Got a bit worried then. So yeah, this bike, the R model, comes with the, the quick shifter and the auto blipper. So the normal uh, GSX R5 doesn't come with one. You can just see how, how smooth it is and how much easier it is. It works better obviously up, up the rev range when you kept going up the gearbox. No good sort of for low speed. Oh, <laughs> rain it in a bit. It's the thing with this bike. No sooner as you're ringing on that power, you, you, you're clocking up some pretty, pretty amazing speeds on this thing. I say this GSX R5 is an R model. Make sure the camera hasn't fallen off. Yeah, the R model comes with the, the quick shifter, the auto blipper. I believe the normal thousand model you can um, you can have it have it as an extra, an optional extra, but I'd highly recommend it. Lovely. So I'm not going to go too crazy today. It's actually nice to come out on this. <laughs> Christ. One thing with a 200 brake horsepower bike, you you can soon get yourself into a lot of trouble if you're not careful. <laughs> wow. Wow. And so hopefully there'll be some more track days coming soon as well so I can stretch the legs of this bike as well. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, oh. Right, rein it in. It sounds gorgeous. I was like, you can use the, the quick shift from the blipper, you can use it with, uh, when the rev, with the lower rev, rev range, but it's not so effective. We want second gear there, we're in the fan in the first gear, so a bit of mud in the road. Yeah, just snipping out to get some essential items. Makes it a bit more interesting on the bike than uh, sitting in the boring car. <laughs> the only thing is you're quite limited to what you can uh, put in your backpack. You can't go and do a full week shopping. Good excuse to get out on the bike. Method in the madness. Just crazy amounts of power at the flick of your wrist. You know, the bike comes with Brembo brakes all around, uh, not on the rear, but just on the front there, so you got the stop and power. Yeah, I've not had a bike with a quick shifter in a blipper before, prior to this one. So I've become quite accustomed to it. Um, the Triumph 3 RRS, the 765 RS has got one. And believe me, once you have one, I know you hear people go, oh, you don't need that. Just a track, uh, you know, a tool for the track. But it's not until you've rode one with one that, you know, you kind of think, yeah, you want to be without one. <laughs> Might have to go for the overtake manoeuvre when it's safe to do so. <coughs> But yeah, it's the same with all like rider aids as well, you know, traction control and what have you. They're highly needed. Highly needed. Yeah. Starting to steam up a little bit again. Gorgeous. Hopefully with the camera on the back you're getting the sound of the exhaust as well. I'm going to slow down a bit, I don't want to scare the dog. It's kind of a new position for the camera that I've not tried, so you, hopefully fingers crossed you're getting some uh, some good footage there with the, with the uh, a different angle. <laughs> Might have to treat myself to, to, to some uh, different camera mounts, so if anyone knows of anything like the universal mount would be much appreciated. <laughs> oh, Christ. How many times I've said wow today, but oh my god. Yeah, I can't keep that up, slow it down, slow it down. <laughs> It's amazing me how quick this thing gets up to the old uh, sweet spot. It's quite actually linear. The power is quite linear through the uh, through the rev range on this. It's got the variable valve, valve timing as well, and you can feel that. Yeah, when that works as magic, you can feel that. So I can't go too crazy. Can't go too crazy. Still really just tickling the throttle. Oh, 
let some air in a little bit. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video anyway like I say if you haven't subscribed consider hitting that subscribe button for more bike related content plenty more coming to the channel and uh, yeah thanks for joining me today much appreciated and I'll see you on the next video take care